Hello, everyone. This is Raymond. So today I would like to uh, introduce the preview API that we're going to release in 1.14. Uh, and then I will provide a live demo for the uh, worksheet protect change events. And uh, we show a scenario for that. So the first of all, here is the uh, 1.14 API list. That is the candidate that we're going to release in, uh, in this Ignite. So which uh, it include the auto filter, uh, which you enable you to clear the column criteria. And also it allow you to access the, you know, a worksheet tab ID, which is integer ID. And the range uh, president API, uh, we have released range to get direct to president API. And this one will, uh, you can you know, uh, allow you to get a full president uh, API, uh, from this range. And uh, we also going to release release chart uh, data table API. You can um, you can uh, make that uh, data table uh, visible or not visible, and also some other control like a formatting uh, of the of the uh, data table. And um, we also provide some more like an item or non object. Uh, this can allow you to uh, get non-object instead of get an error uh, uh, exceptional. And last one but not least is the worksheet protection change events. And uh, I'm going to uh, talk about this uh, today. So yeah, for how to preview this API, actually, um, for many of you already know that, but for some of the new to JS platform, uh, you can uh, change that to one point zero to the beta and also add the previews uh, to uh, to to have the intelligence on your API. And uh, so for product events, uh, uh, the the design is quite uh, simple. Um, uh, in the worksheet collection, we add a protection uh, protection change hand event handler and with uh, with the event arcs. The event arcs will include these four things, and uh, the type uh, worksheet ID and source is, is common for all the events. And we have uh, the uh, protection booling uh, value to telling whether uh, current status, the protection status is, a, is protected or not. And uh, so the scenario is I uh, would like to tell, uh, share you is is quite uh, simple. It's also very useful when you're doing this kind of interaction with the uh, with your uh, worksheets. For example, um, if a planner he wants to do work on the very important worksheets, and he will will need to very careful for the anything they want to make a change on the worksheet. So uh, usually he will do is to protect worksheets, you know, avoid to uh, some unexpected input. So uh, sometimes you forget to uh, unprotect it and then directly using the UI to do the interaction. But at that time, it will uh, uh, see the error message that's throw the exception and then to handle that uh, by the adding. But with this event that adding can be, uh, the status can be controlled in the uh, event logic. Therefore, they can gray out the button instead of the, you know, uh, end user uh, uh, making uh, making the changes, but without knowing that this is actually not be able to do so. Okay, so uh, uh, I will uh, give a live demo, but before that, he's, this is the sample code that, that you can you use. Um, right now, you can use uh, directly in your Excel. So let me switch back to my uh, Excel. Um, okay, here is the sample code as I just write it, and uh, which will help me to demonstrate that scenario. So for example, I'm um, I'm doing this kind of uh, analysis about the the model that our companies sell. So here uh, I want to um, have uh, doing some interaction. For example, I I did as a, a planner. I just protect the sheets, and 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 then. I forget I protect the sheet and then I doing some you know, changes. So for example, I add something and then of course we our API will will throw a exception which is access denied, which is uh, so, uh, annoying here. But you know this is a simple uh, 
demo, but you, with your complicated demo, you a uh, customer may, may need to do a lot of things and then click uh, click the button, and then that that will very uh, pretty much annoying. Therefore, uh, we we actually doing this to make it possible to that event to handle those um, those situations. So uh, I change it to the new behavior. So uh, new behavior is true. Therefore, it can control that. Let me let me refresh that. Okay. So let me register events. And okay. So. Uh, when I protect the events, uh, protect the current sheet, and then they will uh, the events will be fired. And in that events, you can uh, gray out this button, and then user will know that okay, what I did, I cannot actually. You can also gray out this one as well, but uh, it can uh, let indicate the user know that they cannot ask, uh, uh, you know, uh, insert anything to their worksheet to avoid kind this kind of error. So when you unprotect when a user unprotect the sheets, for example, if I doing uh, unprotect sheets, yeah, it can be it, it will uh, um, enable the button that can use it to change the interact with this uh, worksheet. So that is um, that is how how you use typical use these events in your adding. Okay, that's all for my uh, for my presentation. Thank you so much. Thank you, Raymond. OK, uh, yeah. Very cool to see those API updates coming out. Mm -hmm.